Well, hello, God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I pray that you're having a wonderful day. I'm excited about the things of the Lord, and my friends, I'm excited about the opportunity to minister the word of the Lord to you tonight at our Thursday night. Bible study. Yes, we're going to study the word of the Lord together tonight and God is going to bless us real good. Now, I have something to say to you and it lets me know that we are in some serious times. The Bible says this concerning the last days in 2 Thessalonians chapter number 2 and verse uh, 3, he says, let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. The falling away is not necessarily the prediction of a falling away of church attendance. It's not necessarily a prediction that people will start attending church. But the falling away does deal with the falling away from God's truth, from the true Christian doctrine. Paul goes on to say to the saints uh, when he wrote in uh, his book to, to Timothy, he said, some shall, he tells us what people are going to depart from. They shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And we're in a day now where a uh, doctrine of purity seems not to be of major importance for many who are out there preaching and teaching the word of the Lord today and weird and stupid things are taking place. Now listen, I want to tell you something. The Bible says this in John's gospel, chapter number 15 and verse 18. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love Look at this. The world would love his own, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Nothing is truer than the fact that the world loves its own. And uh, we're seeing some wicked things going on and we're seeing more and more of the world invading the church. Now, uh, there's a young man, his name is Blake, his name is Matthew Blake. Matthew Blake is 41 years of age and Matthew Blake needs prayer. Uh, he needs deliverance. Matthew Blake uh, also goes under the moniker of Flamey Grant. Flamey Grant, I guess that's a take on Amy Grant. I don't know, but Matthew Blake, a 41 year old male, uh, his alter ego uh, is a, a Flamey Grant, a drag queen. And uh, there's nothing, there's nothing uh, uh, unusual about a drag queen because when you see a drag queen you're seeing a very mixed up messed up individual who needs prayer any man who tries to duty himself up and dress himself up to look like a woman and sound like a woman and put on female clothing and dress like a woman my heart goes out to him because that man has the devil in him uh, he's probably, maybe he's been abused. Something's wrong because the, the reg a regular normal man don't want to look, sound, nor dress like a woman. Anybody who would volunteer to walk in pumps uh, with a little narrow heel got to have something wrong with them. I my my wife's ability to to wear those things. I thank God for just good old Gary, just good old shoes that brothers you know we got we that, that brothers wear. Praise God, hallelujah. But this guy Matthew Blake, Matthew Blake, A.K.A. Flamey Grant. The only reason I mentioned it to you, it was sent to me, and I sent the I sent the the, the 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 information out to some of my people whom I know would research it and make sure it was true, because I thought it was a joke. And this this flamey grant is number one on iTunes Christian chart in sales. Now it appears that a man of God uh in preaching uh spoke out against uh, Matthew Blake, and maybe it was pe his preaching 
and, and thank God for the preacher. Maybe it was curiosity that caused people to go to iTunes and, and download uh, this uh, very demon-possessed, uh, wicked young man who needs prayer. Uh, and you're going to download, buy his music. Uh, I didn't, for the record, download it. I have, I've never heard him sing. Um, and whether he can sing is of no consequence because uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not going to be blessed, entertained, nor moved in any way by a man dressed like a woman. That's not going to happen. I, was, uh, 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 I am not moved. I don't stand, clap, uh, participate in any way if it's a man singing in the Lord's house and he's acting like a woman. No, sir. I think much more of my Lord and Savior, and I think much more of myself than that. I'll tell you what's going on, my friends. I'll tell you what's going on. All kinds of wicked teachings and doctrines, thoughts, and ideologies are making their way into the church as never before. Fewer and fewer pastors are behaving like gatekeepers. More and more ministers and pastors are beginning to go along to get along. And we're pretending as though doctrine of purity and standing by God's truth as it is written doesn't matter. And so therefore, you can get the Blake, uh, the Matthew Blakes of this world and many others uh, to do things like this. And all of a sudden, the, the, the record sells. Uh, and, and so some, some carnal Christian will go, well, wow, wow, look at that. So it must be all right. Uh, because uh, uh, he sold a whole lot of records and he knows I said he and he became number one on the iTunes Christian chart. Well, listen, I'll tell you another place he's number one at. He's number one on my prayer list. I'm praying that God will save him. I'm praying that God will deliver him and that God will open your eyes, my friends, and where you where you make sure you don't fall for stuff like that. Pastors out there who are watching stand for doctrine of purity. Praise God. Preach and teach the word of God as it is written to the members of your church. And uh, and if you do this, the Lord will bless you real good. We have multiple problems going on in our country today. And there are things that are happening that we thought would never happen. I'm praying for our nation. I'll be one of the first. And I join the chorus of those who will say that if you don't have borders... You can't have a country. Oh, my friends, we're sending billions of dollars, billions of dollars overseas to protect Ukraine's borders while leaving our southern border wide open and all kinds of drugs and all kinds of people are coming into the country illegally. Child abusers, sex traffickers, all kinds of people. The cartels, all kinds of things are happening. And yes, there are good people who are looking for a better life. But there's a right way to do everything, my friends. We need prayer as never before. We need Jesus as never before. We need the word of God as never before. And tonight, 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 right here, at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, yours truly is going to be preaching the word of the Lord. So I want you to join me right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for Bible study. <laughs> yes, sir. I still get a kick out of that. We're going to study the word of God together and the Lord is going to bless us real good. Now, don't you go buy, uh, don't you go download uh, any music from uh, uh, Matthew Blake. Read the story, spread it, but don't, don't buy that garbage. Oh, wow, he can sing good. My, now, mind you, again, I'm, I'm going, Gary, I'm going off. I don't know how he sings. I never heard his voice. 
It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're not going to sing and entertain Patrick Wooden and move me or anyone else who is spirit filled uh, being a male dressed like a woman or being a woman just like a, a, a man. God, where's this world come to? Something's wrong. I'll tell you what's wrong. We for, we've forsaken the God of this book. But there are many of us who are pointing people back to the God of the Bible. I'll see you tonight right here at the Upper Room, Church of God in Christ.